Well, according to some reports, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is hiding a lot from everybody. And they're not going to be revealing anything till we see the final cut of the film. Now, apparently, there's going to be a lot of variants, some that have been rumored for a while, and some that seem to uh, add an interesting wrinkle into what we think is happening in the film. While it's safe to say that we're all still expecting variants of Captain America, Iron Man, and the likes to appear in this film, because that's been what scoopers and reporters have been saying ever since the film was announced, there's still the bigger question at hand. Could we see variants of any of the main characters? And obviously, the first trailer for Doctor Strange did reveal multiple Doctor Stranges. Some people believe that they've spotted two to three variants in that trailer, but again, we don't know, and since it's Marvel Studios, we have no idea what they're cutting around to make it seem as something completely different, which they tend to do. Now with Loki, we saw tons of variants of Loki. Well, it's being reported that we're also going to be seeing plenty of variants of two of our main characters that nobody is talking about besides Doctor Strange. This being Wanda and Mordo. Apparently, two to three variants of each could be appearing in this upcoming film. And this would, in fact, be playing into the bigger plot over the course of the film that involves multiple Wandas, possibly all cracking the multi-dimension and everything at the same time, and multiple Mordos scheming against Doctor Strange and even Wanda in some instances. So it looks like this film could be going for like quadruple multiverse crisscross I crossed you, you crossed me, but no really double agent type scenarios, which only makes my head spin out of control. Like you have to take some of this and make it real simple and basic and not try to do too much of the abstract, I'm too smart for you type of approach. Because again, it's already going to be hard enough to follow along in this film from the sounds of it. So putting more spins on there and evil versions of characters that are manipulated by good versions of characters that are potentially being manipulated by multiverse alternative more evil versions of the same character just sounds like a headache and a plot and honestly a film that has one of those things where people just go what was happening i'm struggling to follow along and understand and again i'm not saying that they can't pull it off but i'm saying that sometimes this doesn't work that's one of the big takeaways that we have from the eternals I was like, oh, boy, I was uneventful. Icarus all along, huh? The only character to not get flashbacks to what he was doing leading up to this, despite the fact that every time they introduce a new character, we see a flashback starting with the beginning of the film. Boy, I was, I was telegraphed. Still fell flat on his face. Crap, sorry if you haven't seen Eternal. Spoilers. See what I mean? Let's hope they don't do that again. <laughs> 